What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus package update, stimulus check update, daily news, everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., money investing, the stock market, tax returns, it's tax season. Yesterday was the first official day that the IRS started officially accepting tax returns. And uh, tax refunds are going to be hopefully starting here soon. The IRS is behind by millions of tax returns by last year. So if you uh, want to get your tax refund this year, I recommend you start filing early this year because they have they are behind by millions of people's tax returns last year. Um, going forward here in the next few weeks, I'm going to have a lot of tips and tricks and kind of things for a lot of different people here um, with tax filing, uh, because there's a lot of stimulus-related items here that people will need to know about um, regarding last year and different stimulus items. I'm going to cover one of them in this video. Um, these different types of stimulus items that you claim on your tax uh, returns, um, they're going to affect different buckets of people, different groups of people, and I'm going to be covering them in upcoming videos. I'll cover one of them here today. This particular item can uh, get people four to eight thousand dollars back on your tax returns. It's a stimulus provision from the third stimulus check package, the American Rescue Plan, and uh, affects millions of people. Okay, and um, if you don't know about it, it's it's one of those things that you will miss out on. It's, it's similar to the $5,000 stimulus provision that we've talked about here recently. I'll link you to that at the end of this video. It's one of those things that if you don't know about it, you just might miss out on $5,000. I've, I've had a lot of people comment that said they didn't know about it. They're, they told their friends and family about it. They didn't know about it, and they literally could miss out on $5,000. Well, this is a different one. This is a four dollars to $8,000 tax credit. Um, and it's fully refundable. Fully refundable means that um, even if you don't owe the IRS any money, they will send you a check. The IRS will send you a full refund check. So if you qualify for $4,000, if you qualify for $8,000, or if you qualify for a partial amount of it, if you qualify for $2,000, the IRS will literally send you a refundable check. They'll send you a check. So remember, when you think about like a stimulus check, though, just a regular old everyday IRS stimulus checks, those are advanced refundable tax credits. Okay. Uh, that's one of the official names of the stimulus checks. Even if you don't file tax returns, uh, those are the one of the official names. They're also called economic impact payments, uh, but they're actually advanced refundable tax credits. Okay. Even if you don't file tax returns. Okay. And that's why uh, non filers, uh, non tax filers have to file out that non filer tax uh, tool. Um, so the IRS knows about you. Okay. And uh, a lot of people had to do that for non filers. Okay. I'm going to be talking about the four to $8,000 tax credit in this video. And if you have anybody that qualifies for this or even may qualify for this, you're going to want to share this video with them. Because again, if they don't know about it, um, millions of people qualify for this and they just might miss out on money that the IRS owes them that they're that they're not claiming, claiming it's money in their pocket they're just missing out on. And uh, we'll be talking about several other things here after that. So let's jump right in. And as always, I always show you these things kind of on screen from reputable places. Um, this is real, real stuff here. You can Google it. You can look it up. You'll find hundreds of articles about it. Uh, these are real things. Uh, this is actually from the third stimulus check package, the American Rescue Plan that was passed in March of 2021. Uh, this is a one-time stimulus provision. This was only passed for 2021. And this upped the child care tax credit. Okay. Uh, this is not the child tax credits that you normally think of, the $3,000 to $3,600 that were passed for 2021. This is for child care expenses, okay? Uh, but this also covers other things like nannying expenses, 
um, some after school uh, related expenses, um, a lot of different expenses that have to do with child care and watching your children expenses. Okay, uh, The IRS considers a lot of these, um, if it has to do with watching your child um, for children under the age of 13 or for children over the age of 13 that have um, mental disabilities and uh, several other provisions there, um, you could or they qualify for this, okay? Uh, there's several stipulations you could look up with the IRS uh, in addition to this. But uh, in general, the way this works to get this money is, number one, this credit used to only be $1,050 for one child and double that for two ch uh, children, so $2,100, okay? And um, the way it works now is they've almost four times it. Okay, so you can get up to a $4,000 tax credit or stimulus check, however you want to look at it. Because remember, the IRS will literally cut you a check. They'll literally cut you a refund check, a check sent directly to you, whether you owe the IRS money or not. So if you owe the IRS money, say you owe the IRS $5,000, they'll take it right off your bill. So they'll take $4,000 off your bill for one child. Um, so the way it works is a lot, lot of different things to discuss here. So um, you can get $4,000 of a tax credit back for one child, and you can get up to $8,000 back for two children, okay? Um, the maximum credit is $8,000. So if you have more than two children, um, you can qualify up to $8,000. You can get 50% of your child care expenses. So what that means is, you have to spend $16,000 in the child care expenses for 2021 to get a 50, uh, to get the maximum amount. So whatever you spend, it's 50% uh, up to $8,000 for two children. If you only have one children, one child, you can get up to $4,000, okay? It's whatever you spend, 50% with the maximum of $4,000 for one child, $8,000 for two children or more. Hope that makes sense. So for example, if you have one child and you spent $3,000 in child care expenses for the year, you would get 50% of that back as a tax refund or tax credit or a tax check, stimulus check. It is a stimulus provision directly from the third stimulus check package. So if you consider it a stimulus check, a stimulus refund, Whatever you want to consider it, it's from the third stimulus check package. Uh, it's a one-time provision right now. It's passed from the third stimulus check package. You would get 50% of that money back. Okay, so if you spent $3,000, uh, you're going to get $1,500 back. If you spent $6,000, you're going to get $3,000 back. If you only have one child, the maximum amount you can get back is $4,000. If you have two children, the maximum amount you can get back is $8,000. If you have three children, four children, five children, the maximum amount you can get back is $8,000, okay? Uh, so that's kind of a lot of the different stipulations there. If you're doing online taxes where you are doing it yourself, look for the child care expense portion online, okay? If you're doing it with, a, and, and you'll see your refund go up by a lot, okay? Because again, uh, they've almost quadrupled the amount that you can get back in your tax refund. Remember, it used to be only $1,050 for one child, $2,100 for two children. Okay, now it's $4,000 for one child, $8,000 for two children. This is money back directly to you. So uh, if you're already getting a refund, because remember, most people get a refund back from the IRS, uh, unless you're self-employed and you're paying your own taxes here. Uh, if you're a normal employee, you know, the average person gets a little bit of a refund back. So let's just say you were getting a $500 refund back from the IRS. Um, well, now basically any child care expenses you paid for the year are just giving you a refund back. Okay. So if you paid a thousand dollars, I mean, if, if you think about child care, it's really, really expensive, a really, really expensive. If you paid $100 a week for child care, which is not much. $200 a week for child care. I mean, $200 a week is like $10,000 a year. So $10,000 a year 
uh, if that was only for one child, you would hit the full maximum there and you'd get your $4,000 back, okay? Because uh, you'd get 50% of it back, which is 5,000, but remember the maximum for one child is 4,000. So you would instantly go from your $500 refund in that particular example, and you would add an additional $4,000 back, okay? So it's very, very easy for, um, remember that the average uh, family can actually spend 21% of their income in childcare. It's really, really expensive. And that's why a couple of the provisions that they're trying to do in the Build Back Better package is to lower the cost of families for childcare and preschool. Remember, the average cost of preschool is $8,600 per year, okay, which is almost $200 a week. Very, very expensive. And remember, there's not preschool during the summer, so you can kind of see that cost there. So, um, and remember a lot of schools in, uh, or a lot of countries in Europe have been paying for preschool for over a hundred years. It's one of those things that, uh, the United States is really, really far behind on. So just a couple of the things that, uh, build back better, uh, is trying to do. We're very, very far behind. A lot of other countries have been doing that for a long time. Um, so again, you can let me know your thoughts on this, but I mean, when you think about some working families, mom goes to work. Dad goes to work. What happens? They pay up to 21% of their income in child care. It's crazy. They're paying $10,000, $20,000 a year in child care, and they can't get ahead. So what they did is they passed this provision in the third stimulus check package saying, hey, let's help out these working families. And they're going to work, but yet they're spending all this money on child care while they're going to work and trying to get ahead. So here's an extra stimulus provision. They're spending this money on child care, and this will help them get back 50% of the money that they spent. Now, the thing is, is that you're going to have to save your receipts for these in case you get audited or anything like that. So if you paid anybody under the table, if you paid a nanny under the table and you paid them with cash, that's not really going to cut it. It's not really going to fly, okay? So you're going to need an actual receipt for this, okay? Uh, that's why, in, in general, if you ever pay anybody cash under the table, it doesn't really count. You don't really get to write that off as an expense. Uh, remember, this would be considered writing this off as an expense. It's kind of business 101, right? Um, so to write this off as an expense, this is kind of how businesses work, because technically it's kind of how you're doing this, uh, you're writing this off, uh, you need the receipt. You need to be able to have the receipt of who you paid for the nanny or for the um, child care or the whoever you paid for the child care service. So if you paid a nanny, which does count, by the way, or if you paid the child care service or if you paid your mom and mom or dad, as long as you paid them with a check, you have a receipt and you can claim that. If you paid a child care service, just go and ask them for the receipt or for the form and you're good to go. If the IRS asks you for it, you have it, okay? So uh, that should cover a lot of the basics. If you are going to uh, H&R Block or whoever you're going to in general for uh, your tax return, you'll have the receipt. Make sure you tell them you want to claim this, okay? Uh, because it's going to significantly uh, up your refund. Okay, if you've already, if you're ahead of the game, you've already claimed this. Uh, you're probably, uh, you know, good for you. But if you if you already filed and didn't claim this, uh, you might want to go back and file an amended tax return. It might cost you an extra fifty bucks or something like that. Uh, I have mentioned this on the channel several times in the past, but for some reason, if you didn't claim your child care expenses, um, and they're significant, they're more than like a hundred bucks or something, you probably want to go back. Again, I'm not a tax accountant or anything like that, uh, but I do like to guide, to bring you guys as many kind of um, good things and save you guys as much money as I can. Uh, but you might want to go back and file an amended tax return uh, because if it means an extra thousand bucks in your pocket, I mean, I'm here to help uh, as many people as possible. So just keep that in mind. 
And I'll be covering a lot more things like this here in the near future. So make sure to stay tuned to the fam, uh, to this channel here, our extended family. Make sure to subscribe down below. I'll keep you up to date here. It's free to do so. Also, make sure to click the share button down below. You can share this video with anybody you know that has children. Um, I'll be covering this as well. I'll also link you to the video about $5,000, how to claim. You want to share that video with anybody that had a new baby here as well. Uh, that is very, very important to be, uh, for last year as well because if they don't know about it, they could miss out on $5,000. And I'll keep you up to date with everything going on here in our country, which this story is really starting to get a little bit hairy. Check this out. Uh, yeah, the Pentagon says that 8,500 U.S. troops are on high alert for possible deployment to Eastern Europe. And that the U.S. could be sending American troops over to Europe because of this uh, issue with Russia invading Ukraine. And uh, Ukraine is our ally. And in addition to this, we have also sent now two shipments of U.S. weapons over to Ukraine to um, bolster their positions. Yeah, here, check this out. And the United States has taken steps to heighten the readiness of its forces at home and abroad so that they are prepared to respond to a range of contingencies, including support to the NATO response force if it is activated. The United States will act firmly in defense of its national interests in response to actions by Russia that harm us, our allies, our partners. Yeah, so this is turning into a big deal. You can see here, uh, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has placed 8,500 U.S. troops on, quote, heightened preparedness to deploy to Eastern Europe in case NATO activates its rapid response force over tensions with Russia, the Pentagon announced on Monday. Why this matters, no decisions have been made to actually deploy the U.S. forces yet, but the heightened alert level will allow the military to rapidly shore up NATO's eastern flank in the event that Russia does invade Ukraine. The Pentagon warned that Russia has shown no signs of de-escalating and continues to amass troops on the Ukraine's borders. Yeah. They're saying that this is really about reassuring the eastern flank of NATO, and it's also about proving how serious the United States takes our commitment to NATO and to the Article 5 commitment inside NATO. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said on Monday, referring to the alliance's commitment to collective defense. Uh, yeah. And that no mission has been assigned yet, but that the troops are on high alert, including additional brigade combat teams, logistics personnel, medical support, aviation support, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance teams. Kirby also reiterated that President Biden's position that the U.S. troops will not be sent to Ukraine to fight a war against Russia but that the West is still determined to deter Moscow from launching an invasion through the threat of sanctions and military aid. But this NATO response force is comprised of about 40,000 multi-nation troops that can be deployed on short notice. And the U.S. has sent now two shipments of weapons and supplies over into Ukraine. Yeah, you can see here we have sent more than 80 tons of weapons to strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities uh, from the USA. And this is not the end. The cargo arrived under the dependable protection of the White House and Congress in the Ukraine. Yeah, and you can see a couple pictures here. So, um, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is. In, in action here, and um, you guys can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. These uh, weapons are part of a $200 million security assistance package President Biden authorized back in December and are now um, 
being launched over into uh, Ukraine. And uh, this cargo is uh, a lot of different things, ammunition for the defenders of the Ukrainian front line. The problem is, as you can see here, as much as the Ukrainian military has improved since 2014, it would still be no match for a full-scale Russian invasion, writes Axios Zachary Bazu. Yeah, so that is concerning because I kind of fear that we're sending these supplies and, you know, weapons and stuff over there. And are we going to have a repeat of what happened in Afghanistan where all these just get taken? Um, yeah, you can let me know your thoughts. But the problem with allies and just kind of knowing what I know is that we have kind of an obligation to support them, help them, as well as NATO, and uh, we kind of have these treaties and stuff like that. And um, again, whether it's a Republican president, Democratic president, anything like that, we kind of have these, you know, treaties and responsibilities with our allies. And, you know, that's where things get sticky here. And that's why uh, it looks like they're just trying to deter Russia from just doing this, which is hopefully what will happen. You guys can let me know what you think is going to happen. We'll have to see. Hopefully it's de-escalated, but will it? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> 2022, man, it's uh it just seems like it's not not starting off on the right foot. Yeah, and it's just it just feels like that these are the type of things that they they start off with like something like this and then who knows where they end up, right? It's like they start off with something like this in another part of the world, you know, and and who knows where this ends up a year or two or three from now, right? Like it's like do we get do we get drug into something like this where it's just like now all of a sudden it's this whole big thing and, and the US is like full blown into it where it's like they're saying, oh, well, you know, we're not we're not involved in it right now. We're just supplying another another ally with stuff. But it's like, will we be involved in it full blown in a year or two? I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here. We got a lot of different things going on here with stimulus. Congress is considering a lot of different things. We got the child tax credits. We got potential stimulus checks. We got potential uh, stimulus aid for businesses. Um, child tax credits, student loan forgiveness, raises for Social Security, uh, tax refunds now. We have a lot of different stimulus provisions that you can claim on your tax returns. Um, there's a whole lot, a bunch of different things, a lot of things that people don't even know about that you can get on your tax returns as well. So I'll be keeping you up to date on a lot of those things here going forward because now that it's tax season. So, and a lot of these things, if you don't know about, you could miss out on. So I will keep you up to date on those. Make sure to share these videos with your friends and family as well, because I've seen a lot of comments on people that send I didn't know about or my sister didn't know about that. My brother didn't know about it. My friends just had a new baby. They didn't know about it and they would have missed out on $5,000. A lot of these things and it's true and that's why I show it to you right on the screen. It's like if you don't know about these things and you don't claim it on your tax return, the IRS isn't just going to like say, hey, <laughs> we're going to give you the money. You have to fill it out on your tax return. You have to claim it. So... I'll keep you up to date here with everything. So make sure to subscribe down below. Make sure to click the share button down below. Share this video with your friends and family. Send it to them over messages. Share it on Facebook, whatever you need to do. And I'll keep you up to date here with everything. Remember, subscribing is free to do. Literally costs it nothing. So you can click here to watch my newest video next. And this video is how you can claim up to $5,000 on your tax returns. If you haven't watched that one, you need to watch that one as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.